Did you know that in order to shoot thumbnails for your YouTube videos, you don't need a fancy camera? And in order to edit them, you don't need a fancy computer. That's why in this video, I'll be showing you how to shoot and edit your thumbnail for your YouTube videos all using an iPad. Let's go. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Takori with Think Media, helping you build your influence with online video. And on this channel, sometimes we do YouTube strategy tips as well as tutorials just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now, real quick, before we get into it, just wanna let you know, this video is a part of a four-part series when it comes to creating a YouTube video from start to finish, all using an iPad. And if you wanna check that out, we'll post a link to it in the YouTube card as well as in the description below. But jumping into tip number one, it is so important that number one, you research your thumbnail before you actually start taking your thumbnail images. So I've actually typed in the title of my video or the general title of my video just to see what I'm working with. And this is just a good way to not only get inspiration, but number two, get an upper hand on the competitions. And what I mean by that is when I search my video title here, that I'm getting an idea of a, a thumbnail, but also how can I make it better? It's just a good way to do some research before you actually start shooting your photos. And the reality is you don't need to use, you know, an example from the actual search term. If you like certain YouTubers in other industries, you can also use inspiration from their thumbnails to actually inspire your thumbnail. Tip number two is to now shoot and edit your thumbnail. Once you got your inspiration, it's time to shoot it. Now, a few things when it comes to shooting it with your iPad or even your smartphone or what have you, I would say number one, is to use a timer. You know, obviously if you're shooting yourself doing these thumbnails like I will be in this video, having the timer is super clutch. And I mentioned in uh, the first video of the series that you can actually pick up a tripod for your iPad that comes with a Bluetooth remote, which is cool because now I can just throw on the two second or three second timer uh, and then hit this and it'll take three seconds and I don't have to keep going back and forth to the camera. So that's super nice. The second thing is to, I wanna encourage you to shoot your thumbnails in portrait mode, especially if you have products or your face that you're trying to pull attention to. The next power tip when it comes to shooting and editing your thumbnails is simply to just take multiple photos. Whether you're actually trying to take different types of thumbnails, in my case, I actually have two different concepts that I wanna hit. One with my face uh, with product, and then the other one that's actually like a literal example of what the video is about, and I'll show you how, what I mean by that in just a second. But just keep that in mind. You don't wanna go into the editing flow of things when it comes to your thumbnail, and then you wish you took more photos. Because the reality is, when you have your lights and all your gear set up, you just wanna get everything out of the way so that you can just focus on editing. All right, so this is what I see in selfie mode when I'm on my iPad. One thing I learned about portrait mode is that it's only accessed through the selfie camera, but I just wanted to show the difference real quick. So this is me in the regular photo uh, kind of mode. Now when I tap over to portrait, uh, now I get that blurry background. And a few things about the portrait mode's blurry background. You can actually lessen it by clicking this F right here on the top right of the screen and increasing the number that's next to F. This will, this will either make your background less blurry or more blurry. The lower the number, the more blur, as in this is 1.8. That's just gnarly, right? The next thing is to use your timer. So if you wanted to use your timer, you can actually click the little watch on the top and you can use three or 10 seconds. So when you're actually getting ready, you can just tap the count down to three, two, one, and then it takes a photo. What's also cool is I mentioned that this tripod comes with a Bluetooth remote, so you can actually be hands-free if I needed to back up or if I wanted, I didn't wanna keep you know, having to run up to my iPad, I can literally hit the remote and it'll start the timer and I can take my picture. Just like that. So that's a little quick little mini tutorial on the portrait mode on the iPad. I think it's super cool that the selfie camera is the portrait mode camera. Another thing I want you to keep in mind when taking your photo using the selfie camera is to make sure you're looking at the lens and not yourself. If you're taking that photo and you're looking at yourself, your eyes are gonna be away from the viewer rather than looking at them. So that's just something to keep in mind to make sure you do. Now for the first thumbnail concept, I'm actually just gonna be holding up two lenses and then looking at one of the cameras and also changing my expression. But for the sake of having a plain background, I don't need to use my portrait mode. And so I'm actually just gonna turn off portrait mode and just take a few pictures using it this way. All right, so we have taken multiple photos for our thumbnail and now it's time to edit it. But if you're getting value in this video, let me know by hitting that like button. And I just wanted to let you know about our sponsors and that is Think Media. Yes, we're sponsoring our own video because I wanted to let you know that you could use our channel to help you grow with creating content for YouTube. Whether it's actually growing your subscribers 
learning audio, lighting, or even the best settings for your camera, you can use our YouTube channel and just hit the search bar and search whatever it is you need. Now, as far as editing the thumbnail on the iPad, the first thing I actually do is just make a few tweaks to the photo I wanna use using the photo app that comes with your iPad. And so just simply tweaking a few things like saturation, brightness, sharpness, clarity, and things like that, just kind of make the photo pop a little bit more. And it also gives me that place to like really decide what photo I wanna use for my thumbnail. But as far as the software we're gonna use, we're actually gonna use Canva, which is a free application that you can download and they have awesome stuff. One thing I love about Canva is that number one, it's free. And then number two, that they actually have templates for you to use when it comes to creating YouTube thumbnails. And then you can simply select one that you kind of like the vibe on. Uh, another thing you can add photos elements to your you know thumbnail um, you can add text and things like that but on the bottom left you can see that there's camera roll and so you can access the photos in your camera roll and you know we're just gonna select uh, this one photo I actually like my expression on this and as you can see I kind of tweaked it but as far as like resizing and things like that it's so simple just literally resize it by pinching your fingers and then I'm gonna add this arrow. So I'm gonna go into elements and add this arrow uh, and then point. So I wanna point more attention to the lens and you know, you can simply flip the arrow around and then click and drag. And if you wanna make things bigger or smaller, just squeeze like you would think you need to squeeze. And then you could simply change the color and that already is looking good. Now I just wanna add some text to this thumbnail. So uh, we're gonna first add a box so I just got a box from the elements, changed it to the color black, and then we're gonna add uh, what this video is. I'm just gonna put kit versus prime because people already are probably searching that it's for lenses and you can see lenses in the photo. So you don't have to be too repetitive in that sense, but just put the text where you like it, how you like it, and then make the tweaks necessary and then simply save your design and you're ready to go. So that's how you create a YouTube thumbnail all using your iPad. And yes, we all use free applications for this video. And more than anything, I wanted to just point your attention to Canva, that it is a resource that you can use to create graphics and thumbnails. Uh, but if you wanna learn how to actually edit YouTube videos on your iPad, go ahead and click or tap the screen. And I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.